How do you move a 70-ton stone without wheels? How do you lift it 200 feet in the air with nothing but copper tools? And why, after 40 hint years, can't we agree on how they did it? Today, we're diving into one of the greatest engineering mysteries of all time. How did the ancient Egyptians build the pyramids? Was it human ingenuity or something otherworldly? The Great Pyramid of Giza contains over 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks, some weighing up to 70 tons, as much as a loaded semi-truck. Now here's the kicker. The pyramid was supposedly built in just 20 years, which would mean placing one block every 2.5 minutes, non-stop, day, day and night. Let that sink in. No wheels, no pulleys, no cranes, just copper chisels, wooden sleds, and sheer manpower, supposedly. So how did they do it? Mainstream Egyptologists have a few ideas. One theory, sleds on wet sand. A Dutch study in 2014 showed that pouring water on sand can reduce friction, allowing heavy sleds to glide more easily. It works, in theory, but 70 tons for miles? Another theory, ramps. Massive, straight ramps made of mud brick and limestone. But to move a 70-ton block up a 200-foot pyramid, you'd need a ramp a mile long, requiring more material than the pyramid itself. And here's the problem. We've never found one. So either the ramps were dismantled, or the theory doesn't hold up. There's the core mystery. Even if you could drag a stone to the pyramid, how do you place it perfectly? Dozens of feet in the air, with such precision that even a razor blade won't fit between the blocks. This is where things get strange. Some believe the Egyptians had help, not from gods, but from the stars. Enter the ancient astronaut theory. Proponents point to eerie hieroglyphs that seem to depict flying machines, electric lamps, even helicopters carved into temple walls. They argue that lifting, cutting and placing multi-ton blocks with surgical precision would have required anti-gravity technology or vibration-based levitation, tools beyond our modern comprehension. Sound crazy? Here's where it gets weirder. Some of these blocks like the obelisk of Aswan, were carved entirely from one piece of granite, a stone harder than the copper tools they allegedly used. How do you cut something harder than your tool? Would you try to slice a diamond with a butter knife? Some theorists believe the ancient Egyptians had a lost science, perhaps passed down from an earlier civilization or from beings not of this earth. The Egyptian priest Manetho wrote of a civilization predating the pharaohs by tens of thousands of years, a claim modern scholars reject, but which appears in ancient texts across cultures. Then there's the legend of Thoth, the god of wisdom, said to have created the Book of Knowledge, a lost manuscript hidden beneath the Sphinx that could unlock the secrets of the pyramids, or humanity itself. Is this just mythology, or is there something we're not supposed to know? Here's the truth. No single theory explains it all. Science gives us plausible ideas, but with major gaps. The alien theory is fantastical, but explains the precision and scale we still can't replicate. So what's the real answer? Were the Egyptians far more advanced than we give them credit for? Or did they uncover knowledge, perhaps even assistance, from a source long since buried by time or design? One thing is certain, the pyramids weren't just tombs, they were messages, and we still don't fully understand what they're trying to say. So what do you believe? Genius engineering or extraterrestrial help? Lost technology or a forgotten civilization? Leave your theory in the comments. And if you want us to explore the truth behind the Sphinx, subscribe. Because this rabbit hole, it only gets deeper.